mission he got. Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a massive shout out to Sugarcoat. Guys, this stuff is absolutely sick and let me tell you why. Not only does Sugarcoat smell so good, you will literally have to stop yourself from drinking it. It also applies a hydrophobic ceramic coat into your paint, which causes standing water to bead and run off and make your paint impenetrable to impurities and contaminants. And yeah guys, we know there's stigmas surrounding waterless washes and quick detailers, but Sugarcoat is no normal waterless wash or quick detailer. This ceramic waterless wash is actually formulated to lift dirt away from the paint onto the microfiber, absolutely reducing the chance of micro scratches. And guys, Sugar Coat comes in four amazing flavors. We've got bubble gum, rhubarb and custard, Parma Violet and Mango. They've all been designed in such a way that with correct use, we leave a hydrophobic ceramic coating protecting your paint for up to three months. And on top of that, Sugar Coat is actually pH neutral, meaning it can be used safely on your seats and all interior surfaces, which will also leave a hydrophobic protection layer on all surfaces. And guys, this stuff smells so good, you'll probably be tempted to use it on yourself. Sugar Coat is also very effective when it comes to cleaning glass and can also safely and effectively be used on vehicles that have been wrapped. Remember, Sugar Coat is designed to be used in between washes and on light dirt only, so be sensible. And obviously, I've got to plug you. And Sugar Coat have gave me a crazy discount code that will save you guys 20% on all orders OG20. Check the links in the description and let's get back to the video. So what's going on Gas Gang? Today we are back with an absolutely crazy video. Just look behind me. We have got a fully built 1100 brake horsepower capable single turbo IS300. Guys, this is going to be absolutely crazy. So stay tuned and let's get it. Bro, it's wicked to see you and wicked to see this car. Bit of a fan favorite from the OG battles. I was just buzzed because the car worked, everything done what it's supposed to do. I'm just enjoyed the day. That's it, that's it. It was, a, it was a long time coming, wasn't it? It was, that, yeah, that, yeah, know, yeah. So. Like three, three years in the build making that. Wow, wow. <laughs> time and money. <laughs> it paid off. You beat a Supra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wicked, wicked. You would never expect this shell to have this much power. Do you want to break down to us exactly uh, what is under the bonnet, what it's taken to build it, etc.? So it's a 2JZ GE, which is what the car come with. Yep. Uh, we've got two 72 cams, uh, manly pistons that are 10 to one. Um, the only thing that's not standard, the only thing standing in the engine is the valves and the crank. No way. The rest of it is all modified. <laughs> all so, changed. All changed. So yeah, yeah. yeah, big turbo. What is S369 that? S369 Borg Warner. Okay, mate, it's so, humongous. Yeah, and an SSI inlet manifold. So got, um, it's got a three pump hanger from Powerhouse Racing, the SRD obviously fitted mm -hmm. um, with two pumps in. Uh, 1200 cc injectors, fuel flex, Cyvex, everything, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's all singing, all dancing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so we're saying this can make 1100 brake on kill ethanol mass, yes, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's at the fly. Um, 943 at the wheels. Got you. Uh, that's on its kill. Yeah, that's on its kill on ethanol. Amazing. Uh, on pump, it'll do about 840. Okay. Um, that's its max. 840 wheel. 840 wheel. <laughs> so yeah. it's probably still a thousand ish. Close, close, close yeah. We wanted to make it a thousand wheel, but it just, we just ran out of fuel in. That yeah, was the only yeah, thing yeah. that they were struggling with, but I was more than happy with 943. <laughs> amazing, amazing. What, what's the drivetrain on this like then? What's so it uh, it's got the much hated BMW gearbox. Oh, uh, is it hated then? <sighs> Some people like them, some people don't, but PMC Motorsport have upped their game, I got think, you. and they've redone their, their adapter plate, and they've got like a bushing that centers a flywheel and all that. Got you. And we've bolted all that on there. It's got a triple plate um, tilt and clutch got you. Uh, with a PMC flywheel, which is like aluminium and about this big, it's tiny. Got you. Uh, the BM box is sand up, and it's got like a, a, a prop shaft that's basically made by a truck company. No way. Yep, and it all holds together no quite way. sweet, as you've seen so far, yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, so Fingers crossed, we didn't broke it, so. <laughs> and uh, LSD or? Yes, 
standard IS 300 SD and shafts, everything on the back end is standard. Even oh, right. the cross member, I haven't done the welding on it that they're supposed to do yet because I'm yet to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but still good. And what, they're, they're meant to be good for this power or is it a kind of at well, this power make I see a guy in America running 1,027 horsepower through his one. Okay. And I thought, well, we'll just send it. If I break one, they're 500 pounds. There you go. So I'll just thought, I'll, if I have to buy one, I'll buy one. Exactly. But, uh, other than that, it's been good. So the wheels were made by Rims Carnated. Okay. Um, so I had a set of uh, like SSI SP5 wheel made. Um, custom to the fit the brakes because I've got 356 mil discs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Just eight pot eight pot sports, but the rear brakes are standard. Got ya. Okay. Um, we haven't had a chance to actually mod them yet, and yeah, yeah they're a staggered fit, um, and they're only nine and a half in the rear. Okay. So okay. It's, considering it's only nine and a half, the rear hugs quite well. To yeah, be fair. yeah, yeah, for real, for real. But yeah, it's a good car. It has. It's not a shouty look at me no, car, is it? You can do like, your shopping you know I mean? in it. Exactly. It's good for your shopping. Exactly, and that's what I think I love. I, I usually ask people what exterior modifications has it had done, but I Literally. mean, if they're there, they're very subtle. Literally, the only things I've ever done is change the headlights to Alteza okay. and the, to the greyer later shape fog lights, and it's got the greyer shaped rear lights. Wicked. That is the exterior mods done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't need anything. Nice and easy, cool. bro. It's all about yeah, it. It's all about the turbo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, interior likewise, right? Yep, I've not touched the interior. It's still got the standard radio in it because I'm not fussed about the radio because all I want radio? to hear is that. Damn right. <laughs> no, amazing, amazing. All right, bro. Well, listen, um, I know it's a nutshell talk over of such a kind of a, a, a big build. Yeah. But um, I think what everyone wants to see, including myself, is this bad boy hit the road and uh, get some pulls in, yeah? Let's do it. Let's go, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're out in this killer sleeper two days. Do you know what? It's actually quite funny because in the last feature, I was like, sorry, in the last OG battle, I was like, something that's got a 2JZ in it that shouldn't have a 2J in it. But it did. Did you clock that? But yeah, they're meant yeah. to, they but actually it come from yeah. factory. It's just, do they, they come with no turbos from factory, yeah, right? An AV vehicle, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. But is it the same lump, essentially? The, like, the engine is the exact same engine that's out of the car anyway. Okay, cool, so, cool. GE, VVTI. Obviously non-turbo, but I've had the block cross drilled, all that for the turbo, yeah, pick yeah. up right side a lot, so sick, sick, sick. lots of work. <laughs> and obviously if people haven't seen the battle in which you actually raced the Supra, the notorious Supra, you know, this legendary car and absolutely I guess put it to shame. <laughs> <laughs> on low boost. <laughs> on low boost too, that's the mad thing. On the day, I think we was running, what was it, about 900-ish? Oh, it was actually a lot less than that. I didn't oh, really? realise, yeah. Mike told me afterwards we was on 1.3 to maybe 1.5 bar, so that's like 700-ish. <laughs> 7 to 750, apparently. I, no think way. That's, I think that's right anyway. Oh, yeah, my man. God. I mean, Alex, whenever you're ready, give us a taste of it, brother. <laughs> Third gear. It might load it up fourth. Okay. There we go. Fourth gear. And what's that? That medium boost? Yeah, that's low. That's low boost. <laughs> I love how you say load it up and just wow. <laughs> Man, what the turbo like? Obviously it's a big turbo, but it seems to come in, again, I'm not driving, but it seems to come in strong and quick though. The variable valve time helps so much with big boost and I've made the engine slightly more compression than you wouldn't normally. Okay. A lot of people like shy away from it because it can, you know, detonation, etc. Yeah, yeah, You've got yeah, more yeah. timing out, but I spoke to the boys and I had it. I had the engine, a friend of mine, come round, he used to blueprint uh, Formula 1 engines. Okay. Stuff like that. And he came round and made sure I had my measurements exactly right when I was building the engine and it came out perfect. And he was like, I'm on about 9.76 to 1. I think okay. that's the exact number to be okay, fair. Okay, 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 and okay. Yeah, she spools up nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's have a little third. All right. Third gear. Very, very spicy. But I feel like it hooked, bro. It hooked every time that one time, yeah. But Ties it comes in, wow, like... It does, it punches you in the back of the head. It's awful, <laughs> isn't it? It's a little second gear. Okay, second gear. <laughs> oh my god. Big 40 foot lines. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the way this, yeah, this <laughs> but I was thinking of like the way this side of extraction control is kind of in, and again, it's not wet yet, and we're hoping that what right. rain stays away. But it seems to be hooking even from second, and yeah. that was that was a uh, medium boost. Yeah, it's medium boost. Yeah, I think that's like one point six to one point seven bar, something like that. Okay. Here's your traction control. <laughs> Oh, big black lines. <laughs> Bro, this is savage. Oh, scares the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. 
<laughs> them short bursts, uh. bro. And just ripping through the gears. Guys, this car is insane. The way that boost comes in, bro. It's, hard, it's literally, hard. it's like, it like it pulls like a four-wheel drive car. I know it is making a braking traction. Yeah. You can feel the side of it. HK suspension time. did me a good one, I think, because they built the suspension for Got it, and I just bowled it on. But it squats lovely. It tends to hold the track yeah, really yeah, yeah, well. Yeah. I mean, Ash set it all up. But yeah, I, yeah. I bowled it on, and I was like, set it up, see how you get on. And he was like, yeah, no worries. <laughs> and uh, he said, oh, it's, 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 Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, the fact that you built this, like, you know, yourself, obviously, shout out to SRD, like the Wizards, when it comes to the 2J for uh, the, the tuning done on this. But just the way, it, and again, shout out to Cyvex too, because that traction control system, I've run Cyvex on three of my cars, and, um, yeah, I sing their praises all the way, and this is this is testament to it. This much power going to the rear wheels in second gear. This, like, I mean, it's hooking, and they will probably just feel like it's hooking. But from yeah. like your, you can feel your butt. You can feel the kind of the, the traction making and breaking, and the, it kind of cuts the power a little bit. Yeah. And, and anyway, there's a lot going, a lot of wizardry lot going, going on. on yeah. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of sauce. <laughs> you know, but this guy's sick, absolute sleeper. And uh, also, guys, you wouldn't. You would have seen that we haven't done a zero to 60 on this today. There's no point. If you want to see what it does zero to 60 and quarter mile, and you want to see him uh, smoke a, a Supra, <laughs> go and check out the OG battle that he was on a little while ago. I'll leave the link somewhere up here. And also guys, before we get into it, a massive shout out to A-Plan Insurance. If you're looking for high powered car insurance, modified car insurance, prestige car insurance, track day insurance, all your insurance needs, uh, check out A-Plan. We've got a landing page in the description. It's who I use for all of my cars. And um, we're here to bring you guys the best deals because we look after our cars, so A Plan and the Gas Gang's gonna look after you. But anyway, enough waffle, shall we uh, get into it? Go for it, mate. Let's go. Yeah, not the first time I've obviously driven anything with a 2J, I've driven many, um, and maybe in and around at this power, but never in this application at least. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is gonna be very interesting. Um, first time passenger for me. Oh really? Yeah. Bro? I'll let the boys. Thank you, bro. This Because I know this is your baby, innit? Yeah, like, I know everyone who Everything I've got is in there under the bonnet, mate. So. <laughs> right, I'll treat her well. I will treat her well. But, Send um, it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, epic, epic. But you do actually have a few toys, don't you? Like you, I've uh, got a couple, yeah. you got a couple. He's quite well known. I know some people might know him. And yeah. no, he's not. What's his name? John Candy? Nah, John Candy. John yeah. Candy. It's not John Candy. You may have seen me from Cool Runnings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first pull, mid boost. Let's get it. Third gear. Oh, jeez. <laughs> mate, she lays rubber. <laughs> mate, this is this is a machine, bro. <laughs> Put two hours on, can't cut in the dust at all. They're doing all right. They're, they're doing all right, right bro. They're, they're doing all right. Do you know what's so crazy? It's such sleeper vibes. I don't even <laughs> expect it. Like just looking at the whole dash and the whole. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be moving like this, man. It's like let's get a little third again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving. Mate, this moves. It's, it's, it's very, very usable, though. Again, in this, it, the conditions are quite good. It's yeah, almost it's boost weather bad. right yeah, now. It's pretty good. You know, nice dense air, isn't you it? know, and it's, uh, it, it's still dry. Probably quite a lot of heat in the Cup 2s. Yeah. But um, I know, you know, high boost and wet roads or slightly damp, it's, you spin it in a circle, oh, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, third gear. Let's go for it. <laughs> Even I'll grab the OGN. <laughs> That's usually my trait. <laughs> yeah, bro, this is uh, it's a weapon. It's just so spooly. And once the scream is open, too, it's like. <laughs> oh, I just want to keep it in. Oh, I love no. that sound, man. I love yeah. that sound. Right, cool. Number third gear pull? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go. It's the boost, bro. I'm a boost addict. You are. You're <laughs> but when it comes in like this, I, I, like obviously it's the way you, like you said before, you've yeah. built the engine. It's so, it just comes in. Yeah. There's no lag. It's like nothing to everything. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? It is like super trait, but lower down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much lower down. Yeah. In four, what are we in four two, and this is a full boost. Near enough, full mate, if it, it, mate, as soon as I put my foot yeah. down, it feels like the boost yeah. is just on. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> well, bit, I wanted it to drive nice off boost because a lot of supers that are like lower compression drive nasty off boost. Yeah. Especially yeah. high power cars. Yeah. Um, but I wanted it to be able to drive it on the road, yeah, so course. you can then carry on 
doing your dilly dally. I do the shopping in it sometimes. <laughs> you got it, bro. Why not? <laughs> you got why not? You can. Why not? Pop down the same trees, get my little bag, get the job done. Right, here we go, fourth gear. Still comes on so quick. Woo woo woo! <laughs> Mate, That's all you need stupid. is a little bit of, a little bit of roll when you're just gone. You're gone. <laughs> it's time to slow down, like you know what I mean? It's uh um... too quick. That's <laughs> but it's epic, it is epic. And the box does feel nice too. It's not bad at all, is it? It feels nice. Let's do one more for, one more for, lean into it. One more for. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh man! <Need> help! <laughs> All right, guys. So we are ending the video here today. It's been absolutely sick, bro. Thank you so much, man. I no want to shake your hand. We loved you at the OG battles. <laughs> Hopefully, people love you today. I mean, look, the car is an epic build, and I think this is what the channel is about. It's these kind of crazy creations, creations that shouldn't be, that hardly anyone would go to the trouble of doing because it's so labour intensive, yeah. maybe expensive, and whatever else. But you've done it. Right, you know what I mean? And we and, and we've been able to showcase that. So thank you so thank much, you um, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, obviously smash that subscribe button. And before we go, have you got any like uh, socials that? Uh, uh, just want to shout out SRD Tuning. Always go to them for any two J needs. I would say 110. Definitely. And big underscore Alex 711. That's me. Cool. Get on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I will leave links to his description, his uh, socials in the description, and also SRDs too. And um, yeah, guys, once again, smash that subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.